Hello everyone, welcome to my new channel, Bushy Baller Brand. If you're watching this, do not forget to subscribe. So now on to the important things in life. You're in mind's favorite NBA team, the Philadelphia 76ers. To any of the doubters and unbelievers out there, it is time to start trusting the process. This team is becoming very lethal and are already looking like a playoff team. Now I know that we are only 10 games into the season, but still, this team went 6-4 and four through 10 games this season. Last time this happened was the year 2013, not to mention they have a five-game win streak for the first time since 2012. But this season is poised to be a special one. Last year's rookie sensation is once again proving him help proving himself worthy of all-star talks. Of course, I am talking about one Joel the Process Embiid. After only playing a handful of games last year, he's looking even better this year. He has learned to land on his feet properly. It's about time. The Process is averaging 20 points and 10 boards this year and does not look like he is slowing down at all. But his numbers are all made possible by the help of this year's potential Rookie of the Year, Ben Simmons. This man puts on a show every time he steps on the court. His numbers match up with all-time greats, and he is going full throttle this year. Ben has two triple-doubles in his first nine games. The only other player to do that was the great Oscar Robertson. He has wowed the league with his ability and showing off all kinds of agility. He can run at the four, the five, the three. Heck, he can run any position on the court. Given his ball-handling skills and ability to see passes, he runs the point perfectly for this team. I'm just going to pretend we didn't draft Markel Fultz for the time being, you know, while he's recovering from his injury. We will talk about him once he comes back. Simmons is currently averaging 18 points, nearly 10 rebounds, and 8 assists. He truly does have the ability to average a triple-double this year. The additions of J.J. Redick and Amir Johnson have certainly helped out. Redick is shooting lights out this year at 43% from three. Not to forget his 31 points against the Pacers, where he was able to hit eight threes. Amir is helping grabbing around six boards a game off the bench, and his veteran leadership is helping lead the young guys. The Sixers finally have true veterans, can't leave out Jared Bayless, that help lead this team to wins and how to finish games. So 10 games into the season, and this team is rolling and looking very hot. The Sixers are finally becoming a nationally known team. They're getting nationally televised games and getting the recognition they deserve. If you have not already started, it is officially time to start trusting the process. All right, thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. In the car, and I put that on my mama. And my car, talking about some drama.